Qatar thanks the Biden administration for resuming previously cut aid to Palestine. And a storm ensues on Twitter concerning the rights of teachers in Qatar. Stick around for more updates on COVID-19 exemptions and restrictions. And finally, the search for the crescent moon of Ramadan has started. Hi, I'm Farah and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. We start off with Palestine, where Palestinians living under illegal Israeli occupation are set to receive U.S. aid after a three-year cut. President Joe Biden announced plans to restore aid to UNRWA last week, undoing a crippling move by the former Trump administration. In a statement on Friday, Doha commended the move and thanked Washington for the reversal. This would help economic development and humanitarian assistance to the brotherly Palestinian people, Qatar's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman al-Thani, said. Now, a storm is brewing on Twitter, with teachers at Qatar's public schools complaining about sick leave and alleged salary deductions. Some Twitter users have been claiming that educators who test positive for COVID or come into contact with someone who has will have their wages cut if they quarantine for more than 10 days. However, the education ministry has hit back, saying that this is not the case. All teachers will receive their full salary and allowances for a maximum of 10 days if they are quarantining and unable to work. For the remaining four days of the quarantine period, social allowances such as transport expenses will be deducted. No deductions will be made from educators' salaries or their housing allowances. For the full report, head on to dohanews.com. And in COVID news, essential services such as restaurants, pharmacies, and petrol stations have been exempt from 50% capacity restrictions for their workforce. This means the specified entities will be allowed to operate with more than half of their staff present in order to continue operations. On the other hand, government service complexes announced an end to evening hours until further notice. This all comes as a part of Qatar's newest restrictions to battle the second wave of the virus. Over the weekend, nine people died from the novel coronavirus. And finally, can you see the crescent? The Ministry of Islamic Affairs is calling on the public to keep an eye out for the moon and to report any sighting of the crescent. If sighted, this would signal the start of the holy fasting month of Ramadan. That's it from me today, but for more of our stories, head on to dohanews.co. Have a great day.